Good morning, Karen Rockkind, your happiness coach. Videotaping on the morning of my 40th birthday. Oh my goodness. And yes, my mom got me all this 40 garb, so I'm wearing it proudly. I am waking up here in Sonoma, just one of my favorite places on earth, and the place I knew I wanted to be for my 40th. You know, Turning 40 can be an all-out crisis, or it can be a catalyst. That midlife crisis of who am I, what am I really about, what do I want in life for? Is this it? I thought there would be more. And all of those questions can lead to the 40s being an amazing catalyst for taking life by the reins and deciding that it is your time to live your dreams, your time to take care of you, your time to decide where you want to be on your birthday, how you want to spend it, what your health is like, how you're going to take control of your overall joy and happiness. It's your time. And knowing that I was turning 40, I mean, I've had a long time to think about it, right? God, I mean, the vast amount of emotions that has been flowing through my, my blood, my heart, you know, from the excitement of saying yes to the love of my life and getting married just two weeks ago to the fears, you know, my doctor wanted me to get an early mammogram because of the way that my breasts are. Pretty scary. Fortunately, it came out okay, but that was really scary when she said that. You know, there's so many different things to deal with as we get into our 40s. Like, just in the last few months, I've had all these gray hairs popping up, and my dad, his health uh, was in question this year, and just that, and, and one of his best friends just died, and thinking about taking care of my parents while also thinking about, you know, I have a stepson now to take care of and that kind of sandwich generation. You know, and I keep getting these calls. One of my friends from childhood called me and said, you know, now I'm going through a divorce and it's nasty and this is not what I thought life would look like at 40. Well, another one of my friends said, you know, I'm in my 40s now and if I haven't found love, forget it, it's hopeless. Like, I should just be with that guy. What does it matter? 40s can be a time of crisis or a time of catalyst. And one thing I have learned for sure is that it is up to you. It is up to you if you choose to let let the 40s or any age, whether you're 50 or 30 or 20 or 60, it doesn't matter, but if you let if you let your age lead you to hopelessness and you decide that it's an all-out crisis. Or if you're going to use those questions that you have in your mind, you're going to use this changing point in your life as a catalyst, a catalyst to really reflect on who are you at your best? What is it that you deeply, deeply, deeply desire? A catalyst to finally choose to take life into your hands and create or recreate the life you want. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is your life and it is your time. So yes, I have more responsibility now that I'm a stepmom, and yes, I and a wife, and yes, I have different health things going on in my body, and it is my choice, it is your choice to use your 40s as a catalyst, a catalyst to uncover and to decide, to choose that you will live fabulous and fulfilled for the rest of your life. That's why I'm bringing women together who are in their 40s and ready to say yes to themselves, yes to choosing that this decade will be the decade that they take control of their lives and live, live their best life. I know I'm planning on doing that. Are you? Are you ready to say yes to yourself? Are you ready to decide that 
even though our bodies are getting older, we're going to be in the best shape of our lives. Are you ready to decide that even though your parents may be aging, you are going to be in control of your schedule and how you choose to take care of all the people you love? Are you going to use this time as a time to understand what are those dormant, deep desires, those dreams that you really, really, really want? And finally decide that it's your time to make your dreams come true. You have been taking care of everyone else. You have put yourself on hold. And for a lot of reasons, let a lot of those dreams die with it. So what are you going to do? Are you going to choose crisis? Are you going to choose to just keep doing what you've been doing and end up unhappy again in your 50s and 60s? You deserve more. You are worth more. Let your 40s be a time about being fabulous, a time for being free, for feeling that freedom of choice. Let your 40s be the time where you choose fulfillment and create that joyous life you have so been wanting. That's what I'm going to do, and I hope you do it with me. Join me. Join me on a four-month journey with 40 other women to claim your life, claim your best life, and use the 40s as a catalyst, catalyst to live, to live true to you. It's your time, baby.